it is the last week of Whole30. Thought I didn't vlog um, the third week, I think, of Whole30, but I figured I would vlog the last week just to kind of close out our little series. So I'm going to show you what I made for breakfast. Very exciting. Today was actually kind of gourmet. I made um, hash browns, which is literally just a potato and spices, um, two eggs, two slices of bacon, and half an avocado. Um, I've been really bad about eating before I go to work, and so I'm starving, so today I'm over feeding myself, just in case things go awry and I don't get to eat a ton at work. So um, I have a doctor's appointment this morning, so gotta get ready for that, and then I'm driving straight to work from that doctor's appointment. In the food department, I don't think you've missed much. Um, we tried a recipe that was pretty bad, so that was really good. And then we also have been like being a little bit more lenient on coffee, well, like drinks on the weekend. So we love going to see Michelle from Early Bird. Um, this weekend she was like, we have unsweetened almond milk or unsweetened macadamia milk. So we got that and I regretted it. I was like, I should have just kept my cheat like, it's so something to look forward to. If it is your first time doing Whole30, I don't recommend any cheats in any way or any leniency because this is our second time. We kind of know what we're doing it for at this point. It's less to see how our body reacts and more to see, like, what the results we want. Um, personally, for me, it was to cut my sugar addiction and stop celebrating every single day like it's a birthday because I would eat cookies all the freaking time and order them on DoorDash. So even if I didn't have them, I would still eat them. We will show you this week. We did a lot this weekend on our living room and our downstairs. There's been a whole drama with that. So uh, stay tuned for our living room downstairs redo video that I'll recap all together. But for now, all you get to see is this plant. It's the next day. I didn't vlog at all again yesterday after breakfast and there was like four things I wanted to, more things I wanted to tell you, but here we are. Um, another thing I wanted to mention about our Whole30 this time around is that we're actually doing more of like a Whole28 or like 27 because we have a wedding coming up, which is the main reason we kind of did this. Well, we wanted to do it again anyway, but we wanted to be skinny for the wedding. Um, but yeah, the wedding is on uh, the 20th on f that Friday, or no, that's Saturday, and our rehearsal dinner is the 19th, and so we want to be able to have enough time to reintroduce because technically our last day on Whole30 should be the 17th or like the 18th, so we want to have more time. So we're actually ending on this coming Monday, so that's why this is like our last week. Like Monday will be our first day of reintroduction, that way we can do an accelerated reintroduction, but still introduce so our first off whole 30 meal isn't the wedding because that would just be tragic and the bride and the man of honor have been hyping up this freaking mac and cheese that we're gonna have at the wedding so i have to have it i have to so i'm so we're doing a reintroduction um earlier i think caitlin might have her first reintroduction on that sunday or saturday because it's valentine's day so i think she's going out but either way we're ending this week Last night we watched The Bachelor, so I made myself some nice cream, which is basically banana, a banana, a frozen banana, milk, and then I put cinnamon in it, and then I cover it with chia seeds, um, almond butter, and almonds. So that's my little treat on Bachelor night. I don't usually eat a ton of fruit like during the day, um, so I honestly give in to cravings at night and eat them at night. This morning I made myself basically the exact same breakfast that I did yesterday because I had leftover potatoes and then I went and got coffee from my favorite coffee place and that coffee place actually has unsweetened almond milk which is so good. I accidentally, not accidentally, but like on our cheat day I got um, the sweetened almond milk and it was so sweet to me. It is crazy how much your taste buds change during this diet but it was so gross. So today when I went I made sure to ask for unsweetened almond milk because it just tastes so much better to me. Now I'm gonna make some lunch. I was expecting to go into the office today, but my boss decided to change her mind, which she is perfectly allowed to do. So I'm gonna dig in the fridge and see what I can have for lunch. I got some chicken sausages that I can show you from Trader Joe's that are Whole30 approved. 
So I think I'm gonna have something with these. These are the chicken, the spicy jalapeno chicken sausages. Oh, I also got, I need to show you this. I got this Tessame Buffalo Ranch because I was craving buffalo when everyone was posting about it on the Super Bowl. So these are just like little cups of vegan Whole30 approved Buffalo Ranch that you can just eat. So I bought that and then I bought um, some canned chicken, which sounds disgusting. Um, but with this is really good. So I actually might eat that as well, but I don't know what I'm gonna eat it with. I will show you what I decide. This is what I'm ending up with. It is just that canned chicken with the buffalo ranch and then some plantain chips that are from Trader Joe's that are Whole30 compliant. Caitlin's gonna give us how she feels week four. I'm over it. <laughs> no, it's supposed to be uplifting. I, I mean, if you look at the calendar, like, it's like over it yeah right like we're done we've done all like the new we've only done a few new recipes and stuff that way and one of them was a complete <laughs> yeah no, which sucks. wasn't helpful that sucked i just got home from work for the day which is why i'm wearing like fancy clothes and not sweatpants but it has been a good and productive day today i went out with my boss and we got um, lunch at one of our favorite restaurants called Greenhouse near Kierland if you're from Arizona and we always get the same salmon salad even before I was on Whole30 and it is all the things in it are Whole30 approved again I'm taking it so lax that I'm like it's a very clean salad so it's gonna be okay Caitlin went to go get her um, like a prescription from CVS so I'm just home alone I really want to get a wider angle lens I feel like I have to stretch you guys so far to be able to see anything um, but yeah, so I am going to, I'm actually going downstairs so I can check what we're having for dinner. We have this little recipe board or not recipe board, but like meal planning board. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know about this, but tonight we're having chicken fingers and green beans. There's not much I need to prep for that, which is nice. It's a super easy meal. So we just, not just, we got this mirror. I think it's so freaking adorable and a good place to take selfies and just hang and this basket has dog toys in it so it is pushed over over here um but yeah that's that's what i'll show you guys today i love 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 this we're in therapy dog class right now which i feel like i haven't talked about much on my youtube channel that we do a lot of pet smart training classes but both dogs are in therapy dog training. Do not think either of them are going to be therapy dogs, but it's a really great and fun class to take. So we're taking it. This is Riley's second time taking it. Other things to catch you up on. We went to Old Navy last night and I got these slippers. How cute are these? They're like a suede material and then they're like fuzzy all in, which is gonna get gross and smelly eventually, but I will enjoy them for now. They also have a hard bottom so I can take the dogs out or let them out in the yard or walk them to our green space. I say dogs like I walk both of them. I never do, I only walk Riley. Taking both is a lot and it's not my favorite activity. So yeah, this week has been pretty chill. A few, I think like ne next week is wedding prep week. I'm not gonna vlog it cause I can't remember to vlog when I'm not busy. God forbid I'm gonna vlog while I am busy but next week we're prepping for my friend's wedding. Um, or I'm getting my first spray tan. Maybe I will vlog that. I think that'll be funny. I'm getting my first spray tan. And then we have the rehearsal dinner Friday and then the wedding on Saturday. So that's going to be next week. This week is just like prepping to be busy for the wedding um, and figuring a lot of things out. This is definitely the first like adult wedding I've been in. I've been in two weddings and not that they were any less legitimate than this wedding, but it was a lot of like it was just like when you get married younger, um, how those weddings go. So this wedding is like a plus one and there's, you know, we had to go bridesmaid dress shopping and we had to, we're getting our hair and our makeup done, all this stuff. So definitely feels like an adult wedding, which sounds weird. Ooh, you're crooked. Hi everybody. So it's been a few days since I've filmed. I, to be honest, was on my period this week and didn't really feel like filming much. And I don't know, I've just felt like bleh. And I don't think that has anything to do with Whole30, honestly. Like, I'm not hungry. Like, I feel like I have the energy, but I don't know. You just have those off weeks. And unfortunately, mine has fallen on 
the last week of Whole30, which is typically like such a big punch and such a big moment, but here we are. Um, some things that you've missed since I last filmed. I got my hair done. You really can't tell because it's up in a ponytail because I didn't want to wash it, but um, it's like a darker red color. You see where my hair thinning and hair loss is, which is great. We are finishing up Whole30, obviously. Caitlin, I think, ended today. I'll see if she'll give us an update on how her journey was, but I'm gonna film probably a clip tomorrow. This is going up on Tuesday. So um, I'll film like another clip tomorrow um, for my weigh-in and stuff. If you watched my first few videos, I wasn't really doing this to lose weight. Although being honest, it's the before Whole30, it was the heaviest I've ever been in my whole life, like my whole existence, which is depressing, but it is what it is. You go through seasons of life where you gain weight, you lose weight. Like before quarantine, I was in like peak health, but now I'm not. So um, I will let you guys know the only measurement I took was my weight. I didn't take pictures. I didn't um, like measure. You're supposed to like measure like your waist and your bust and all that stuff, but I didn't do that. So I'll just let you guys know if I lost any weight. But again, that wasn't my goal. And like, I definitely don't want to trigger anyone. You don't need to lose weight. This was definitely for me to kick a sugar addiction and I've definitely done that. I'm like really happy with the results of that and I can say that before I even weigh in. I'm very happy I did it and I'm very happy with the results that I've seen in my taste buds changing, my body changing, just how I consume food, my relationship with food. That is a big thing for me when doing Whole30 and I think I've really accomplished that. Ooh, this lighting's really bad, but we need new angles. What do you think? Kind of moving forward from Whole30, I think that's probably a question some people have. So you've done the 30 days and like, now what? Um, what you're supposed to do, and I don't, we didn't really do it properly last time either, was you're supposed to, okay, so Monday's our first day off Whole30. So what we should be doing is Monday we reintroduce something, either soy or sugar or gluten or something like that um that we're reintroducing in a small amount so it doesn't mean you're gonna eat an entire pizza it means you know if you're gonna have gluten you're gonna have like or if you're gonna have grains you're gonna have a little bit of rice with your meal or if you're gonna have sugar you're not gonna eat a bag of candy or a giant cupcake you're gonna eat um like put a little honey in your coffee like it, it, you're reintroducing things slowly and not to shock your body so what you do is you reintroduce something one day so say monday you reintroduce grains so you have oat milk in your coffee or whatever um and then tuesday wednesday you're supposed to eat strict whole 30 like you're back to whole 30 for two days and this is meant to show any reaction you might have to some things so you're supposed to like know in those two days of your body feels any different than it did on whole 30 then maybe you have some sort of inflammation or something wrong with your body um to that food um i didn't really ever do this because again like i sounds bad, but I don't really care <laughs> about what I'm sensitive to. Um, I know like dairy affects me in a way, gluten affects me in a way, but it's not something that, I don't know, I'm not so committed to that. Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the end of Whole30. <laughs> like I said earlier, we're ending Whole30 a little bit earlier than 30 days, but wow, this is very crooked. We're ending Whole30 earlier than 30 days, but so close, basically close enough. Um, I am drinking my coffee with oat milk in it and I've never been happier <laughs> to have oat milk back in my life. I said it before we started, I'll say it again. Oat milk was gonna be the thing I missed the most and it was, well, that's a good thing. I, we're going back to normal eating today. We're like slowly introducing, of course, like I'm having oat milk this morning. Um, and but we'll pretty we'll have a whole 30 like dinner and that kind of stuff so we're doing it slowly but what i wanted to tell you was how much weight i lost and i'll just start off the bat just telling you i lost 15 pounds which is absurd um and i definitely don't want i was like so <laughs> i weighed myself this morning and then i texted my roommate caitlin and i was like it feels like a fake number that i lost and she was like good or bad and I really don't know if it's good or bad for how much weight I lost, but she agreed. She's like, when you have to film your wrap up, like this isn't, that isn't what you were trying to get out of it. And that isn't like what you want to promote to people that, Hey, like do whole 30 and you're going to lose 15 pounds because 
that is not at all accurate. I think last time I lost six pounds when we did this, which is still a lot. But like when you think about it, like three pounds of that was probably water weight or like, you know, other things like that. Like I definitely didn't keep those six pounds off. Um, so obviously, evidently, because here we are losing 15 more. Um, but I had a dramatic amount of weight to lose. Um, I, over the period of last time we did Whole30 and now, I gained almost like 50 pounds. Like I gained a lot of weight from the last time we did Whole30. So for me to lose 15 wasn't as much as if you're weighing your skinniest and you lost 15 pounds. Like this is it makes more sense for me to lose that much weight right now. Had I lost that much weight last time we did Whole30, I probably would have been in the hospital. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're doing Whole30. To me, Whole30 is not about losing weight. And also, I am the like person who most definitely like hates a scale. I hate a scale because you can gain all kinds of muscle and lose a bunch of weight and lose a bunch of fat and the scale will show you that you've gained weight. Um, also, like the way my body is and same with my mom and my sister and everyone is that we can lose and gain weight and our clothes will still fit the same. We'll pretty much still look the same. We won't look like we've gained 50 pounds. We'll look like we've gained weight. But if you tell people how much you weigh, like it's shocking. And that is just something that is really annoying, good, annoying, good and annoying, bad in a lot of ways with my body type and with my like family's body type. Um, it is a blessing and a curse to not look like you've gained or lost a ton of weight. Yeah. So that's how much weight I lost. Um, I, again, this isn't a crash diet where you're supposed to lose a ton of weight. This is genuinely for me. And I think for a lot of people, just like a reset, like when you think about it, I drastically changed my diet. When I went on this diet, I stopped eating dessert like all together. Um, I stopped drinking sugar and honey in my coffee and I started making better choices when I was out to eat. I wasn't eating like a burger and fries, I was eating like salmon and vegetables or like salmon and a salad, or, you know, I was making better choices more consciously and I just wasn't putting as much crap in my body. So it does make sense that there was such a dramatic change um, in the number on the scale. So, but again, I don't feel like I look different. I don't feel different. My clothes don't fit different. So I don't know if you struggle with the number on the scale, just know that number doesn't mean as much as how you feel and how you look not to get sentimental and sappy, but it doesn't. And that's really, truly something I feel 100%. So thank you for coming along with me on my Whole30 journey. I'm going to insert a clip now of Caitlin recapping how hers went because I'm nosy, you're nosy. That's why we're friends. So um, here is Caitlin. Whole30's over. <laughs> how what? do you feel it went? It went good. I lost 10 pounds. I think five was like bloating and water weight and five was like actual like losing weight, which is good. Um, inch wise, I only measured my waist and like my under bust. Waist, I'm back to what I was originally before like pandemic bloating, I guess. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Um, rib cage is really weird. I'm like a 32 mm -hmm. and I was a 34 beforehand and it's like kind of freaking me out that I like lost weight there. But um, hips and stuff is the same, which is kind of annoying, but, um, I feel good. I still have energy. I ended a day earlier than Katie because I had a brunch plans. Her so first meal back was pancakes. <laughs> I only had one pancake and it was a lot. I mean, it was a gluten-free pancake yeah. too, but it was a lot. And with like syrup, and I didn't have that much syrup because I was just like shaking and crashed later in the day, but it was good. It was a good time. Do you feel like you're, do you feel like you've had habits change? I think, um, like, it's going hard to forward. say because it's going to be how last time is. I think mm -hmm. it's a good reset. And I think I will get back into the habits that I had when I had habits mm -hmm. and like kind of structure. Um, I think that's how it is. Like, I think I'm going to have more structure again where I feel like come the like holiday season like all of those structures like went off mm -hmm. the door as they do and that's fine um but it's definitely getting back into like how i'm supposed to be eating and things that way i suggest it thank you guys so much for watching this video if you have any questions about whole 30 definitely let me know in the comments below um if you're new here subscribe if you're not hey <laughs> um and i will see you guys in my next video Get it, make it brighter,
ride through the grave.